This tutorial video will show you how to load from one scene to another within Unity. This is useful if you need to transition from one level in your game to another level, or from one part of a level to another part of, a, of that same level. Now, loading scenes is important, uh, but you also need to meet four criteria in order to be able to do this. Our first piece of criteria is that at least two scenes must exist in the project. The scene we are currently in, and the scene we wish to transition to. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to create a game object in this scene. I'm going to make it a cube. Now I'm going to come up here to File, Save Scene As, and I'm going to save the scene as Scene 1. You'll notice that once I do so, an icon here saying Scene 1 is created down in my Assets folder. Additionally, the name up here says, now says Scene1.unity instead of Untitled. Now I'm going to come over here to File, and I'm going to open a new scene to create our second scene. I'd like to create a 3D object, and I'm going to make this one a sphere. So when you see the cube, or you see the name up here say Scene 1, you'll know that we're in Scene 1. When you see the sphere, or you see the name up here say Scene 2, you'll know that we're in Scene 2. I'm now going to save this scene as Scene 2. We've just met our first piece of criteria. Two scenes exist in our project. Next, both scenes must be added to the build settings. To do so, we'll go to File, Build Settings, and now we're going to click Add Open Scenes, and you'll see that Scene 2 is added as this is the open scene. Without closing this window, we're now going to go and we're going to double click on Scene 1, which will open up for us. We're going to click Add Open Scenes. Now, as you can see, Scene 1 and Scene 2 have been added. I'm going to click and drag Scene 1 on top of Scene 2, as I just did. Our second criteria has now been met, as both scenes have been added to the build settings. Next, we're going to use scripting to load one level to another. I'm going to X out of this build settings window here. I'm going to right click in my assets folder, create C sharp script. I'm going to call this script load level. And I'm going to hit enter. That script has now been created. I'm going to double click to open up the script in MonoDevelop or whatever scripting editor you've chosen to attach to Unity. Now that I have MonoDevelop open, in the start function, I am actually going to write scene manager dot load scene. And then in parentheses, I'm going to give it my scene name. I'm going to say scene 2, since that's the scene that I want to load. So in the start function, this is used to initialize our variables. It's called once this script is activated. So I'm going to attach this to a game object from scene 1. As soon as that scene is loaded, the game object is going to call scene manager .load scene to load up scene 2. Now you'll notice that this right here is in red. That's a bad sign, but it doesn't necessarily mean we did anything wrong. If you mouse over it, you'll see that the name Scene Manager does not exist in the current context. How can we fix this? Well, we can right click, go to Resolve, and as we mouse over this option, we'll slide our cursor over and click using Unity Engine Management. All it means when that turned red is simply that Unity doesn't recognize Scene Manager .load scene when we import that package or module, when we use the using clause up here, we give Unity access to the external library that contains scene manager .load scene. Next, we're now going to navigate back to Unity. So I'm going to decide to close this. I'm going to go to save and quit from MonoDevelop. And now we're back in Unity. I'm going to double click on scene one to be sure that that's the scene that we're in. And now I'm going to come over here to the main camera. I'm going to add a component, go to scripts, and click load level. Now I've added this script to my scene. So the other two criteria that we had to meet were that we have to 
be use, have a using statement with unity engine dot scene manager and we must use scene manager dot load scene and then pass in as an argument to that the scene name which we wish to create as a string which means that we put it inside of double quotes now that we've done so and met these four criteria we are able to load from one scene to another to see the result of this hit the play button as you can see scene one loads briefly for one moment and you may not have even realized it but scene two was just loaded and you can easily see that from the sphere here you may not have even realized how quick scene one was loaded and changed to scene two that's because as soon as we press the play button unity flipped and said okay instead of load once we are already in scene one we now automatically have to load scene two because we put in our start function which is called immediately when the play button was hit uh, to go into that scene Now I'm just going to exit play mode before I make any other changes, otherwise my changes won't be saved.